Milwaukee. And we sent Core Harlan to check on those roads as well as closures up on Mount Hood. Core. Well, good afternoon, Jenny. Here from uh, Rhododendron, where this uh, this uh, closure road closure ended about a half an hour ago, and the long line of the semi trucks that were still here started uh, snaking their way up uh, east on U.S. 26, up towards uh, Government Camp, as well as a lot of the cars that had been here since yesterday afternoon when the road closed. Carl is looking east right now, east on U.S. 26. You can see there's still a semi truck, a big rig, off to the side of the road there, uh, presumably getting some change on here but by and large most of the big rigs as I say and most of the other traffic has started moving up the mountain towards government camp now you heard about the closures a second ago before we get to a I want to get to a piece of video to show you in just a second but I just want to reiterate uh, the road from Portland to government camp is now open but anything east of that people trying to get into Central Oregon you're going to find 26 is closed again at that Maupin cutoff that's 216 when you go over to Maupin there so from that uh, exit on to the uh, Jefferson Wasco County line essentially which is out towards Madras that remains closed that section of 26 remains closed so if you're trying to get to Central Oregon you still got some problems and you still got some waiting to do but you'll be able to do it a little bit further down the road towards Central Oregon now I want to illustrate for you some of the dangers that are out here go ahead and roll that video this was shot by a Clackamas County Sheriff's deputy uh, a patrol uh, camera in the in the camera here's this video watch this off to the left of your screen here Somebody pulling off to the side of the road, somebody up behind him going too fast, hits the brakes, loses control, bang, 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 and it's a bad scene. That was from yesterday. We do understand there has been another accident of a similar nature this morning. Uh, involving a car and what we were told by somebody with some knowledge of this situation was a car and a road grader that was trying to clear the road today. Uh, so suffice it to say the road is open but the conditions going through government camp are still very very uh, just dangerous. There's just no other way to put it. Roads are real slippery. The snow has been falling continuously here just about all morning, mostly off and on. The ski resorts, uh, Timberline and Mount Hood Meadows, suspended operations for today. So there'll be no skiing up here. Uh, they had an early call on that from Mount Hood Meadows before 6 o'clock this morning. They simply uh, couldn't get enough of their team members in positions they needed to be in to successfully operate. The road was still closed here. And by the way, at 5,000 feet in the parking lot of Mount Hood Meadows, they still have a lot of snow to move out of the way to get things ready uh, for the skiing public. But that is a situation from here, all clear so far now through Rhododendron as traffic begins to slowly move east over 26 through government camp. But again, Jenny, they're going to find another road closure there when you get to the mop and turn off there. That's, uh, that's about a 30 mile stretch of road east of that turn off there. It'll take you out towards Madras. So for folks still wanting to get out to central Oregon, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Government camp, you're free to proceed to government camp here at your own risk. Yeah, those icy spots can really catch drivers off guard. That video was pretty crazy. Just be careful out there. All right, thanks, Core, for that update.